All right, what is going on, you guys? My name is Bubba, and welcome back to another insane story. So today's story actually takes place back when I was in high school. You see, back when I was in high school, we had this class called computer class. And basically, in computer class, I'm not going to lie to you guys, most of the time, not a lot of us would actually focus on the actual homework, but play computer games. For example, I remember Minecraft was a really big deal, or sometimes even when people would go on miniclip.com and play a bunch of, like, cool math games. I don't know. There was a ton of sites we basically would go and play on. And I remember being in that computer class had many perks but at the same time when it came to handing in the assignments i ended up always being late and ended up doing it on my own computer anyways going on with the story i remember one time it was second semester and it was basically a new day in computer class and one thing i realized was that basically there was a new girl that walked in out of nowhere i didn't know her and to be honest i've seen her around the school but i never actually like introduced myself and knowing that i was the only person in the classroom who had an extra sheet available for the new student was well kind of out of nowhere as well. Anyways, going on with the story, I remember basically she ended up coming up beside me and basically sat down right there, right beside me. She looks at me. She's like, hey, like I kind of just took this class because like, you know, extra credits and stuff, which I'm not really surprised because, well, she seemed like a smart girl, but at the same time, she seems really awkward. And then I remember I basically just started talking to her about life and stuff because she was literally right beside me. And well, she had really no one else to talk to in that class since she just transferred into it for the second semester. So I remember we were just talking about life and she looks at me and she says, hey, like, so like are you like always like that fast at typing there's one of many things that a girl's impressed by and me having fast fingers i guess is one of them because one i don't know i guess i could type their essays really fast or two you, you know what actually no I, I i can't say that on youtube i don't want to get demonetized anyways going on with the story basically i remember she looked at me and how fast i was typing she was really impressed by how fast i typed and she kind of got in the mood i guess i don't know it made no sense to me when she did that and it was just kind of awkward at first but i just said whatever anyways going on with the story Story, I remember she looks at me and says, Hey, like, I was just curious, like, what's your snap? And usually, when a girl asked for my snap, I knew at that point she was like interested. So I ended up giving her my Snapchat. And basically, from there, she ended up just following me on Instagram, which also you guys should also all follow as well. And then from there, she started liking all my photos literally right in front of me. I guess she was trying to send a signal that basically she liked me and she thought I was cute, which I mean, fair enough. I was pretty attractive back in high school to the point where a lot of girls thought I was attractive. But knowing that I didn't ever do the devil's take go with this one was kind of interesting so i remember what i decided to do was i basically ended up hitting her up and said hey like do you want to like maybe like just i don't know go out for lunch or something just like let's go to like the pizza place or something she looks at me and says are you actually inviting me for lunch when you just met me okay like i'm down and she got all excited and jittery which i mean fair enough i mean i guess that's exciting i don't know be spontaneous guys just literally straight up ask the girl if they like you like honestly might as well and then i remember after that class i basically ended up going to my next classroom and i saw all my buddies there the boys. I remember I ended up sitting with them and I basically started talking to them about what just happened and how a girl just basically hit me up because, well, I think we all know that when a guy like has like a moment like that, you know, all of us get pretty excited. And I basically told him what happened, but none of the boys were actually excited. Actually, one of the boys ended up saying, bro, like that girl literally like for some reason is like freaky, like really freaky. I ended up looking at him and I said, what do you mean freaky? Like, is she like actually just like weird like that? And then after that, my other buddy comes up behind me, puts his hand on my shoulder and says, dude, trust me, you got a lot to learn and they ended up walking away sitting down i was kind of just curious and honestly it made no sense to me what was going on here but you know i just said whatever i remember after school came and me and her we ended up going to the pizza place uh we ended up walking there because you know i didn't really have my car that day for some reason i don't know why to be honest i don't remember and me and her we ended up basically going inside the restaurant we sat down and when we did we ordered a pizza but when we ordered a pizza for some reason this place took so long just to get a pepperoni pizza that this girl ended up getting bored and all she talked about was me touching typing fast if I was single and why I'm single. Like she literally asked me the question. So like, is there a reason that you're like just single? Like, like, is there like something wrong with you? Like, are you like freaky or something? Which is kind of like ironic because literally my friends called her freaky. So it, it made no sense to me, but I guess it was just common. So I ended up telling her, nah, like, you know, like I'm, I just know what I'm doing. I'm just focusing in school. I'm not really looking at girls, which is totally a lie, by the way. But you know, I'm going to be honest here. Here's a fun fact about women or human nature in general. Men like what they see and girls like what they hear. So that's why girls wear a lot of makeup and guys lie a lot anyways going on with the story i remember she ended up telling me okay well like you know i kind of want to like tell you that like i think you're like really cute really no wonder is what i said sarcastically and she ended up laughing and then right as she did that she ended up touching my foot with her foot she was trying to play footsies with me because she ended up taking off her shoe and started like kind of like rubbing her foot on my leg i i don't know it, it made no sense to me and i remember i look at her and i'm like are you good she ends up being like yeah 
yeah, like, I wonder when this pizza's gonna get here. Like, I really just want to go home. And then I remember I told her, oh, like, are you not having a good time? Like, we could just leave if you want. Because I'm gonna be honest, if I had the opportunity to go home and play Call of Duty, I'm gonna take it. Because I started to realize that this girl was not who she was. And then she ended up saying, oh, like, do you want to go home with me? I, I'm gonna be honest, I actually want to, like, you know, get some pizza. Is what I said afterwards. So we ended up waiting longer and longer. And then after that, I ended up going to the bathroom break. And when I came back, I realized something was odd. She was sitting in, like, a really weird position. And knowing that she was wearing a skirt, it was really awkward. And then I remember out of nowhere, she ended up going under the table, like slowly. And I ended up basically standing up saying, what are you doing? Reaching over the table with my torso. She looks at me and she's like, oh, nothing, nothing, nothing. And ends up sitting down. And at the same time, pulling, I guess her pants up. I don't know what she was pulling up. It made no sense to me. It was really awkward. And then the pizza ended up did coming and we ended up eating it. Now I know what you guys saw. The title of this video says going under the table. And trust me, she does not at the pizza parlor. I remember after that, we ended up splitting her ways and going home and i remember basically i went home and i started playing my xbox and talking to the boys i started to mention how i understood what they were talking about and how this girl was really weird and they all kind of just like you know started talking and you know basically started talking smack on her which i mean fair enough and then afterwards the next day at school i remember going to my classroom and i basically sat in my computer class i sat down and i started typing you know doing my homework and then she sits down right beside me as the bell rings and right as the teacher was sitting on her desk ignoring basically the whole entire classroom because when you have a giant screen in front of you let's be real here nothing else is important i remember out of nowhere i see this girl between my legs in my computer class and then she ended up grabbing my eggplant and yeah let's just say literally in the middle of computer class she ended up giving me the devil's head which was the most awkwardest thing ever because i remember there was an asian girl that was in the back of the classroom and she saw me she's like oh my goodness look at that and she started freaking out and like panicking i remember i was like so worried that I ended up standing up and when I stood up my eggplant was out and this girl was under my desk basically with the devil's cream on her face and I did not know what to say. I remember my teacher ended up looking over her monitor saying what's going on there and I ended up basically grabbing my eggplant and hiding as fast as I could and then this girl I'm not even joking ended up crawling out of under my computer and sprinting for the door as if there was like a fire or she was about to get murdered. Like it was just the funniest thing ever and basically everyone in the classroom started laughing. It was the most embarrassing thing thing ever and afterwards i remember my teacher ended up looking at me saying baba do you have something to explain yourself no not really is what i said to her and i ended up going to the office and getting suspended for three days did the girls get suspended no because apparently the girl was a teacher's daughter yeah kind of unexpected but at the same time explains why i never had really had a class with her anyways guys that is basically it for today's story make sure you guys do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already excuse me it's a lot when you guys do like i always say fall for more embarrassing stories peace out guys